You may see the hashtag Trump slump on your social media feeds this morning. People blaming the president for a big old nosedive on Wall Street. I explain in this morning's digital dive. Now, yesterday was the worst day of trading in 2019 for the stock market. The Dow plunged a whopping 800 points. And here's why people are freaking out. The phenomenon known as the inverted yield curve has predicted every recession since the late 1970s. Basically, what that means is that interest rates have flipped with short-term bonds paying more than the long-term bonds. In simple terms, it means it's not good for the economy. Well, White House officials are saying there's no need to panic right now. However, experts say the 2017 tax cuts and the trade war with China are making investors pretty anxious. And of course, President Trump tweeting hours ago, uh, essentially blaming the Federal Reserve, saying in part, crazy inverted yield curve. We should easily be reaping big rewards and gains, but the Fed is holding us back. He goes on to say, we will win. However, a lot of our sunrisers this morning, you guys, <laughs> Apparently preparing for the worst. Ashley says she's actually been waiting for this to happen. So she can buy a home at a reasonable <laughs> price. Saying home prices are way too high right now. I'm sure you're not alone, Ashley. Uh, Jeff says that he and his financial planner have been moving money that he's invested around this summer to help avoid taking too big of a hit. He goes on to say, I'd suggest you all do the same. Given a little financial <laughs> advice this morning. And Michelle, she's pointing the blame at the upcoming election, saying consumer confidence has dipped, resulting in a slower economy. And you might be wondering, you know, the economy seems great right now. Things are doing well. But it's other countries like China yeah. and Germany seeing a hit right now. And we might be seeing one, uh, according to experts, in months ahead. A lot of people's opinions uh, were being said on this yesterday, and right. it wasn't uh, very cheery. Sure, yeah. and I think a lot of people also remember what 2008 was like. So, yeah. yeah. All right.